seeing record early turnout. Tonight, CBS 11's Jay Gormley live in Dallas with one such story for us. Jay? Well, we're live here at the Democratic Watch Party. It's actually a block party here in the Bishop Arts District where Democrats are hoping for a huge night. You know what? This campaign has not only inspired a lot of old voters, but new voters as well. Hi, my name is Kim, and I'm a volunteer with the Dallas County Democratic Party. Kim Carter is diving headfirst into the Democratic process, but would it surprise you that Kim recently did something for the first time? It was exciting. It was, it was, it was, it was great. This 38-year-old Garland woman voted for the first time in her life. I didn't understand that my vote made a difference. Before we pass judgment, perhaps we should judge her past. In 1999, Kim was a successful banker and a financial wholesaler. It all came to an end on Interstate 45 near Corsicana when a semi-truck slammed into the back of Kim's van. I crawled out the side window and I'm wandering up the, the highway and I was out of the van. It was less than a minute, maybe not even 30 seconds. I was out of the van and the entire van blew up. The accident left her with permanent arthritis, back pain and injuries to her brain. Rarely did I leave my home unless I was going to a doctor's appointment or to some kind of procedure. Kim says the biggest pain was dealing with the health care system. Since she was injured on the job, her claim was handled by workers' comp, which led to delays and red tape. Unable to work, Kim remains on disability. Recently, she was dealt another blow when the bank foreclosed on her home. So it comes as no surprise that she's a bit disenchanted. I think that our government, like I said, is, is here for the elite and here for the rich. And now we know why 38-year-old Kim Carter voted for the first time ever. I want things to be better for our country, for anyone that would have to go through a situation like mine. The first thing I have to do is do something different than I've always done and stand up and make my voice heard. And get this, Kim's parents, both Republican, she's been race Republican, she voted Democratic, she voted for Barack Obama. Reporting live from the Bishop Arts District in North Oak Cliff, Jay Gormley, CBS 11 News.